I am Kat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. So today this is going to be a different video. I have no idea what I'm going to title it. Um, I'm just going to give information about a transaction that just took place the beginning of last week and it is finished as of, well it was finished two days ago, but I have been busy and I've just now been able to make this video. So, um, what had happened is I've been sharing a lot on my channel for the past year, uh, me sharing my art gilding, um, literally journey. I have made mistakes. I haven't shared all of my mistakes, but I did make a video sharing, um, the all what not to do, what not to use that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, <laughs> make sure you watch the whole playlist. Like I said, it's a journey. Do not watch the first uh, video on that playlist and follow it because you will also mess up your Bible, rip off the gold, rip off the um, silver, whatever color gold or silver gilding you have. That too will fall off because there are some videos on YouTube right now that gives very horrible information. Like, for instance, you can apply the color anywhere. As long as you're just smashing it on the Bible, so I don't have any any sponges, but let's just say I have a sponge in my hand, okay? You can just press it on, rub it on, just any which way, and it's going to come out perfectly. No. As with anything, you have to do it evenly. You have to do it patiently if you want your Bible to look good. When you go... Um, smashing it all over the place your gilding will come off literally the first color the gilding art gilt is when there's two colors there's a secondary color underneath the first color okay so I, I talk all about that I'm not gonna like really go too much into depth in this video but what um, my brother Philip he reached out to me in um, church Bible publishers Facebook group he had noticed, and a lot of people do this, people have been messaging me, emailing me, asking questions, all kinds of stuff. I have done five Bibles for different people, um, my spiritual mothers, everyone, and it's it's been, it's been amazing. But doing this for people, I can't use up my supplies and then not get anything for it in return. So I am offering this option to you all, so whoever wants to do it. I will have different prices and I will have all of this on my community um, post. I'll have prices for different size Bibles. Um, if you just want the art gilt, it'll be different if you want art gilt and ribbons added. So it's a working process. It is a working process. So just please bear with me. I will take any, um, any ideas, opinions, stuff like that. My brother Philip here, he did suggest having different prices for different size Bibles. I was just doing one flat rate for every Bible. So if you send me like a little pocket Bible, it was going to be, you know, the 50 bucks. And if you sent me like a larger Bible like this, it was going to be 50 bucks. So that's just, that's, that's not fair. So new, I am learning. So I will have different prices um, posted for each one. Now. So this question right now, I'm going to share Philip his his Bible. His Bible is finished, almost. I have one more option. I will, if you don't comment on this video, I will message you and ask. I did not cut the ribbons. I don't know if you want angled cut or if you want the straight cut. But once you do reply to that question, I'll go ahead and um, make sure they don't fray. So I'll cut them or whatever and put some little special glue on it so it doesn't fray and look all crazy but yeah so I art gilded it I added the red color to it now this is his everyday carry so this is his daily driver all right this is not like a brand new Bible that he sent it the gilding will have some wear and tear it shows love that, I, that was my first one. I, this is my first one where I'm, you know, bringing life back to a well-loved Bible. So I was super excited, nervous, super nervous about it. 
let me take you off the tripod so we can get a closer shot on here knowing that this is somebody's everyday carry i'm like oh this is their baby and they're trusting me with it so i really had to you know take my time do everything evenly do the best that i can do he was amazing the, the whole transfer was amazing he sent the money with the bible so i didn't have to hunt down any money nothing it was just it was a blessing a blessing to work with him all right so let me know philip about how you would like me to finish up those ribbons i will definitely get it done now if you are thinking about sending me your bible i don't have every color let me put you back on here i don't have every color of um, ink nor do i have every color of ribbons so if you want me to do um i have emerald green which i can use for a hundred bibles with these refillers um, i have the red which is the same red that you've seen on all of my bibles and on phillips and i have this black which you have also seen me use you see me use on when it comes to the ombre look I have done all black art gilding um, so those those are the colors that I can you know I can use with what's on hand and as much and as many as Bibles as you like but if you want say like a yellow color an orange color a pink color and I don't have it on in my hand if you don't send me the pad or whatever color that you want I have to go buy it and that's going to cost money so you that money that you sh you give me I will use part of it for that but if I do have the color that that you wanted so Philip he sent me the money and the, his money is going to go back into more products more ribbon more um, inks the same will be with anyone else who is going to do this so you are been sitting there and you're like oh I want to do this I want to do this but I'm afraid to do this send it to me I will do it for you and whatever money that you send it will go back I'm just gonna say right back into the ministry so right back into what I'm doing here to help you all okay so um this has been another question I'm sorry brother I do forget your name but you have sent me um, a few comments on a few videos and you sent me a few emails you have been asking about this archival coral coral color that one I have tried on two different Bibles I have tried it on my Allen and this is this is someone this is something that you all have to watch okay <laughs> this is very 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 important we would like to think all Bibles paper is the same uh, if I use this color in this Bible and in this Bible it's all going to come out the same it's all going to look the same that is not the case I have learned that no one else on YouTube is sharing this information and no one else on YouTube is helping me out I have to learn all of this on my own so I'm luckily <laughs> enough to make these mistakes in my own Bibles share them with you so you don't have to do this and these are two three hundred dollar mistakes too so these, this is this is kind of sad but you don't have to do it all right this is the coral color it's a beautiful beautiful color I added it because this um, John MacArthur has this beautiful teal color so I was like the teal the coral looks like the sea it's wrapped around that beautiful tan goat skin I'm like yes please but Thomas Nelson's Bibles many of Thomas Nelson's Bibles this is not only just the premium line my spiritual mother Connie she has sent me Bibles and I had also used a archival color a blue one this isn't the blue but it, it was literally this color here so she has sent me the ink with her Bible I didn't have to use any of my own ink so that was a blessing in itself so when you do that I can use whatever I can do whatever I'm just putting in the work and sending it to you so but look right here Alan is also known for this 
the big wig Allen, the professionals themselves, they are known for having their secondary color, their art guilt, bleed through. So it's not just something that I'm doing. It's not something that um that like a mistake that I am doing or the person that is putting on the ink. This is caused because the paper is I don't know the right terminology for it, but it's real poresy. What I'm meaning is paper has a lot of pores in it. The thicker quality paper will have less pores, so the pores will become tighter which will make for less bleed through. So the more that you see, um, it it's has like a lot of pores. Let me get you in nice and close, there we go. So the more pores that it has, it will start to soak up like a sponge who also, and what also has pores, it just, it soaks up whatever you put it on. So I'm putting on this beautiful color, but it's just soaking it up like water. So that's just, something that you're going to have to keep in mind um there's nothing that i i could have done personally to prevent this from happening it's just the type of paper unfortunately so the um the thomas nelsons have been known for that so if you're thinking hey i'm going to send my um this bible i'm going to send cat my my macarthur study bible to get art guilt I will do it. I have no problem doing it. I will do whatever Bible that you send me, but please understand if there is some kind of bleed through coming through, it is not from me. I'm not like, it's nothing that I can do to stop that. All right. This is an Allen Bible. Allen Bibles are known for their bleed through too. Again, with that same beautiful coral color, <laughs> it is coming through. So if you see up here, they have this. Now, this one right here, when it comes right there, that is possibly, that could be my mistake. This is like my third Bible doing it. When it's that much, I would think it would have to be me. So, when I'm telling you guys, when you go to start, you have to do this um, fan out so you can get all the pages and hit all the pages evenly. If you don't pull out these ribbons or say that you had some posty notes or something in between the, the pages that will leave some kind of gap, that gap will cause an extra space, which extra space got to be filled up somehow. So <laughs> it's, it's a learning process. It is a learning process. But Alan has India paper, which is like, oh, I've never felt anything like it. I don't. I don't even, it's softer than butter paper. It is like see-through. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. I really don't. But you Allen lovers, you Allen collectors, you yourself know that it's a super thin paper. Not really just thin, thin, but it feels, it feels super thin. So again, porousy, they're just, it's going to soak up that color. It really is going to soak up that color so that's why you get some people that stay away from allen bibles because they don't like the bleed through many people will send their bibles back to the publisher because of the bleed through that it shows and it's just there's nothing they can do about it they can't fix it so it's yeah it's just it's just the type of paper um i'm trying to think so i, I did want to say that uh, I go, whenever I go to do my own Bibles, um, I always want every single one to look amazing. Uh, so it just depends on the paper, whether that happens or not. So let's get up nice and close here. This is a Skylar Canterbury, not Skylar Canterbury, Skylar Caxton. This one had originally a red art gilt. So it showed up red and I put green over it. Now, I did add two different greens, so this has technically three different colors on it. Oh, right here. Look. Now, when I went to do the second, I think it was right, okay, right here. There's a little bit right there, too. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is perfect. Look at this. When I went to add the other colors, I already was using this Bible. I was marking in it. 
This page right here has washi tape, it has stickers. So you can see the color is going to start coming over into the page. Again, like I said, because there's this separation. So if you're sending me a Bible with notes, post-it notes, stickers, um, different stuff on it, please keep that in mind too. That ink will try to do as much filling as it can. So it's not, it's not huge like the other one. Oh, I can't get any closer. There we go. It's not as strong or as see-through as the other one, but multiple coats. There's a red, there's two different color greens. There is a little bit. But you see how close I have to get to it just to be able to notice it. Like you have to get super magnified and let me get back out to where it's normal. So, so yeah, it's, it's a journey. So I did, I did want to point out the both good, the bad, whenever it comes to something like this, because I don't want to send back your Bible and you're, you know, you're mad and upset because your pages, you don't know if it's poor, see, and the way you can tell out, say that you're making a bunch of markings, you're marking, you're highlighting, you're flipping the page and you're like, you notice there's a lot of bleed through on the next page. If there's bleed through from regular pen, that means the pores, the pores are literally, it's clear, so it's open. Your pen mark, your highlighter mark going over it, it just falls through the hole. So that's the same with this ink. It's just falling through like that hole. You're wiping, you're going over, putting on um, the color, and it just, it has to go somewhere that, that ink has to go somewhere so <laughs> but I added uh, I do believe four so two on two so with this one right here this is my heritage hold on chicken nugget this is my crossway heritage and I added two coats one way and then two coats so I flipped over over the Bible and I put two coats this way all right and I'm glad I seen that too the end pages the end pages they will get the initial like ink so when I go to wipe it down the ink has to go somewhere so your end pages won't be professionally done because I can't take out your end pages put a you know a scrap piece of paper in there hey come on the salaries so yeah I just I'm not going to mess with the binding. I'm not going to do any of that. I literally come here. I pull out the ribbons. I make it as straight, as even as possible. And then I'm just, I'll spend like an hour, however it takes. I am extremely patient with my own Bibles. So because I'm so patient and I'm careful with my own, I'm twice as careful with somebody else's because I don't want to mess no Bibles up. So I'll just sit there with some music watch tv do whatever youtube mainly <laughs> and i'm just you know spending my time with it but i didn't want you thinking that like all bibles paper is the same they're all going to come out looking the same it's just it, it's nearly impossible crossway bibles paper it, it's amazing i haven't had any problems now in the beginning of my walk i did use that Tim Holtz distressing ink so this stuff right here not this color I used the pink the purple one I even share it I even shared it in my videos and saying hey I'm gonna try to add art guilt to my Bibles and this is all I had on hand so this is all I used this stuff is horrible and in that other video I share why it's horrible this would transfer in a chalky way on your hands and like just in the Bible itself it's a huge mess I do not recommend it at all archival has been the best do not use um oh what is it called alcohol based and do not use washable if it says washable al alcohol um, distressing ink any of that stuff like there's just so many names out there it's all so confusing and like I said, I had to learn all of this on my own. 
So when I went ahead and used that purple color, it, it was a beautiful color. That color was stunning. And it's, it's meant to be used as ink and it's meant to be used as, you know, just adding trim to your papers and stuff like that. But it's in the crafting world. So that's something separate. That medium is used for something separate. We can't use it as art gilt ink. So, <laughs> so now I have added black on top of that purple and I use this archival black. So it has this purple under tint to it which kind of looks cool but it's just it's different it really is different it's kind of hard to tell oh you guys can't really see it too well lay down to sorry there and you this is also good okay so you can see it's really uneven you see how uneven that is that's because I was listening to the guys on the, on the videos. Hey, you can just smash it down every everywhere. It doesn't really matter. Just get that ink on the on the page. No, you cannot do that cuz even if it dries out, look at all of that. That's that's horrible. There are some spots that haven't even been hit. So, I don't know if I can chance coming back and trying to do it again. That's going to be I don't even know how many coats because I did at least two purple. I did at least two black and it's going to be two more. So I'll have a total of four, like six different colors. <laughs> That's a lot. So it's just, it's a learning process. So I may keep it like this. So for future reference, I can continue to use a Bible like this. I've seen some rebinders try to do the art guilt themselves and they used the same references, the same videos as I, as I did. They had the same outcome too. They're giving out two $300 Bibles with amazing covers, amazing ribbons, but the art guilt, it's just trash. It really, really looks bad. So I, I don't recommend, just watch my whole thing. So look at that compared to this art guilt now. I mean, it's it's flawless. There's no kind of separation. You can't see anything. There's the blue. This is the green. And like I said, this is this has been red. This has been light green. This has been dark green. So there's multiple different colors here too, just like that purple and that black one. And there's no kind of separation. This one, like I said, there there are a little bit mistakes, but it's because of my my little stickers and posty notes. There's a lot of information. Look right there. See, I told you, you've seen it yourself. So, <laughs> because there's so many goodies in this Bible, I didn't art guild it at the very very beginning. I already marked up and went through my Bible, and then I came and did it. So. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, yeah. So CBP, when CBP sends out their Bibles, they say that they do art gilding. They do not do art gilding. They do gilding. They have an adhesive art gilt is what they're talking about. So the adhesive, the second color, that art gilt means the second color. So their art gilt adhesive um, helps this gold stick. This is why when you're getting a CBP, first hand it you can see yourself it's literally mirror perfect it is amazing and they say it kind of makes the the gold stay on longer i haven't really tested that out to really you know pay attention um but some of them will have not all of them i i've used a gold for the first time on this one so that could have been just a reaction to the gold because I know a lot of people say, hey, I want my gold fixed. I want my silver fixed. You have to do an airbrush for those kind. You can't get a gold sponge and then just put it on. You can't do that. It needs to be airbrushed on because that's the first color. So the Bible will have to stay like this. Get tightly, tightly pressed down and then airbrush. The art gilt, the secondary color underneath, you have to fan out the pages and get that color underneath the gold or the silver. So it, it's a process. 
But anyways, like I was saying with, with the CVP, because of that secondary adhesive color that they use, you can get these streaks through here. So no matter what, no matter how many times you go over that, you try to fix it, you cannot fix that. That's permanently like that. That's their mistake. They put too much of that adhesive in one little spot, all right? So it's nothing that I did. It's nothing, I mean, I guess you can say technically they did it because they didn't pay attention. Maybe the guy sprayed it and looked away and then forgot that he sprayed it and he came back and sprayed it again. So human, I mean, we're all human. We're all gonna make mistakes. Um, let me share one more CBP. Well, I got, I'll show two more. So this is a brown one. This is gold under brown. Very, very, very beautiful. Their Bibles are also por porousy. I don't know how else to use, what other word to use because it doesn't sound like a word. But their Bibles have a lot of pores in it too. <laughs> but not as bad as the India paper. So you will get every now and then like little spots here and there, but you just, you can't do anything about it. But for the overall evenness of it, it's just, it's so beautiful. And again, they have that adhesive underneath the gold. There's no kind of marks on it. You can kind of see a fading right here. So that could be that adhesive just soaking up that color or they could have put more of that adhesive right there. I'm trying to get it to where, there we go. So do you see it right there? But unless I point it out to you, you guys, you would never know any of this. You you, you don't have the eye to be like, oh yeah, that adhesive's too thick. Like <laughs> someone just looking at the Bibles, you're not gonna be able to tell. Um, so if you do want me to do this for you, um, the colors, like I said, I had, I have that dark, this light green, it's called emerald green. It really looks emerald. That's this color right here. Beautiful emerald color. That red color is what Philip wanted, and I put it on his Bible right here. So there's that beautiful red. All right, that black is the black. Um, now, for this color right here, this is what I have on the first, whenever green I share this is the very first 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 color so this is the darker green and that's this one right here so it has like a dark forest color looking to it now this is under red so if you have Skylar Bibles they come with that red color let me try to get it there we go so it's going to be green over red I gotta come back. Sometimes these end pages and with these cardstock pages, you really gotta add ink to it. I don't I don't know why. So I have to come out and figure out different ways on. Yeah, it's just it could be because I already did these end pages. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I already did these end pages. These pages are filled up with 3D stickers and um, ephemera and stuff so I can't really bend these without breaking this stuff over here so if I did this Bible fresh with nothing on it a clean you know Bible that that would not look like that but because I'm cat I enjoy putting stuff in my Bible I will come back and add art guilt just to do it I like to keep practicing I like to keep you know learning how different inks are being used that's you will get Bibles like that. So there we go. But it, it's still, it's still beautiful. It's still gorgeous. I'm loving it. But okay, so yeah, I, that's what this, what I wanted to tell you. If there's any, any Bible you want done, but I don't have the colors, I that blue. Whoa. I don't know why my phone did that. That blue right here, this is the archival blue. This is what I have on this heritage right here. That's that color. So if you want that, that's the emerald, that's the red. 
So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. A as a pricing, like I said, I'll do, um, either I'll tell you when you message me, but I'll have it in my community tab too. So I, I don't want you to feel like, oh, well, you gave Philip this coat, this price, and you're going to give me a bigger price. And no, I won't, I won't ever do that. That's not, I, if I could, you all, I would do it for free because I just, I'd rather you have a nice Bible, a beautiful Bible that you're going to love, you're going to be drawn to, you're going to be excited about. That's the biggest, the biggest joy of this. These Bibles, it brings like, like Phillips, it brings new life to it. If you would have seen, I should have done a before and after. He had some little itty bitty skinny, skinny little two black ribbons in here and just the gold now he has these big beautiful ribbons the beautiful it just it brings more life into a bible that he has already loved so yeah i i get excited about being able to do that for somebody but um okay i think that is it i think i covered everything um if if you do have any questions there you go if you have any questions let me know i will definitely communicate with you all um all right i'm gonna leave it there Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's art box. Philip, make sure you let me know how you want me to cut your ribbons before I send it out. Okay, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.